afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Friday, January the 28th. It's the third week after the Epiphany and week three in the Psalm Cycle. And please recite it, or please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. Psalm 51. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, that you might be justified when you speak, and be upright when you judge. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in my inmost parts, and in the secret part you shall make me no wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from death, O God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, else would I give it. You delight not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion, and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. And a large crowd kept following him, because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. And when he looked up and he saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we going to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand in all. And then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. And when the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. 
Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For the sick, especially those suffering in the COVID-19 pandemic, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted, for refugees, especially Christian, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. For all who died, especially Brother Ronald Francis, Brother Robert Patrick, Marjorie, Jeanette, Carol, and Lloyd. That together with Francis and Claire and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For all who serve in harm's way, and for the victims of terrorism and violence, for the resolve of the nations to address climate change crisis. For the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering from dementia. For those struggling with addiction, especially Bill. Strengthen their resolve and restore to them the assurance of your unfailing mercy. For the mercy of God, community. Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd. Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill and all the mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Forgive us, tender God, of all our sins and offenses, and restore to us the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.